Hi, this is David with the Discount Dragon again, and today we are talking about thrift store finds. Uh, it's always fun browsing through the thrift store and finding stuff that other people may have overlooked, but one of the most fun things is finding precious metals, gold and silver and things like that. So here I've got a few things that we've run across. Uh, let's start with this one. It's one of the most obvious. This is a silver spoon. It is sterling silver, and you can always tell because it will say sterling on it, even if it's a bit rubbed off. It has it there, not sure how well it's going to pick it up. And this one's inscribed with the date as well, which isn't so good for collecting, but is kind of cool to let us know that it is really old. So this one says January 20th, 1910. So this is a spoon that's over 100 years old. And, you know, for collectors, it has engraved initials, so they won't like it as much. But still, 100-year-old sterling silver spoon for 25 cents. That's hard to beat. <clears throat> this one here is a uh, little keepsake case that somebody put a lock of, uh, presumably, their child's hair in. And I mostly wanted it for the box because... You know, for a dollar, it's a pretty nice little display box. I haven't cleaned it up yet, but I'm going to clean it up and use it to display some of my artwork. But when you look closer, if you look really close, it's not going to show in the video, but this little ring here turns out to be gold. So, display case and gold <laughs> for about a dollar or two. So that was really nice. And one of the little less obvious ones... Because if you go through and dig through all the silverware, eventually maybe you'll find some sterling silver spoons. But this is kind of an oddball one, so it's nice. Uh, this here is a lizard skin belt with metal fittings. Now, the lizard skin belt and uh, the fittings all are very good. The lizard skin belt is pretty nice, and it turns out that the belt itself is pretty expensive. This is by Alexander Califano, who before finding this I had not uh, run across before. And he makes his belts with sterling silver fittings. So the buckle is sterling silver, and it's got a stamp to show it, as will most sterling silver items. Uh, these little things here are sterling silver, and the end piece is sterling silver. So at the very least, you've got a fair amount of sterling silver, but on top of that, you've got a fairly expensive belt. Uh, if this was in good condition, it might be worth more for being what it is, rather than just scrap silver. <clears throat> but the belt buckle and the fittings are relatively scratched up, so, you know, they're not in prime collectible condition. But nevertheless, for a couple dollars, you've got probably like $30 worth of silver plus a high-end belt. So it was a nice find, too. <clears throat> this one here is pretty small, but it is a tiny little gold chain. And that might not be noteworthy, except that this ties into a tip I'd like to give you about where to find little pieces of gold jewelry. <clears throat> when you go to thrift stores and you see all of those uh, jewelry boxes with a music box built in, what often happens is things like this and like earrings and other small pieces of jewelry, when the jewelry box is picked up, they'll slide to the back of the jewelry box and they'll get stuck in the gears of the music box. So if you get one of those jewelry boxes with a music box, pull out the bottom drawer, or whichever drawer the music box is behind, and check it out. There might actually be gold <laughs> hidden in the gears of the music box. So, you know, it's a cute little place to look, and those are our thrift store finds and our thrift store tips for today. Talk to you later. Bye.